We begin tonight with what is called the Tracy Rule. It's a way to crack down on student athletes who've been in trouble with the law. UTSA is actually the very first school in the country to implement this rule. It's a way to ban student athletes with a history of serious misconduct from participating in any athletics. Our Tiffany Huertas explains the message that UTSA is hoping to send. It's definitely sending a message about who we are, about what UTSA's values are, what we stand for. UTSA is the first university in the nation to implement the Tracy Rule. Anyone who has any serious misconduct, um, they would not be allowed to be a part of our athletic program. This policy was implemented in the fall. There's a long list of offenses that could lead to a student athlete being banned. Many of them fall under the serious misconduct umbrella, including sexual or aggravated assault, sexual violence, domestic violence, hate crimes, and murder. To try to enforce this rule, UTSA will ask prospective and current student athletes to fill out a survey about serious misconduct. We're ensuring their background and making sure that it's um, a background that we want to be associated with. Campo says there is a committee who will review student cases. So that we get a perspective from Dean of Students Office, from the Office of Equal Opportunity, um, from um, our faculty athletic representative. So very broad-based committee that looks at the circumstances and then would make a determination. I was lying on the floor naked. I was being assaulted and raped. They were pouring alcohol down my throat. I was in and out of consciousness probably for six to seven hours. The Tracy Rule is named after Brenda Tracy, a sexual assault survivor who shares her story across the nation. The Oregon native was gang raped in 1998. The Office for Victims of Crime honored her with the Special Courage Award in 2016. Campo says she brought Brenda to campus to share her story with students. The first time she came, um, spoke to all of our student athletes, um, again, gave her story, told her story, which is so impactful. Student athletes also signed a Set the Expectation pledge, saying they understand as student athletes that they are held to higher standards and will no longer be able to participate in athletics if they commit some offenses. This is going to set the culture of UTSA athletics and what will it, it will do, it's going to deter those who might have poor decision making skills and might have had some things in their past that they're, it's going to deter them from even thinking about coming to UTSA. This new rule doesn't require universities to conduct background checks. Before the Tracy rule, UTSA said the expectation was always to recruit high character student athletes. The new rule just formalizes the process by requiring students to self-disclose any serious misconduct. For The Nine, Tiffany Huertas.